let's work a little bit on the lips. Just a little tiny adjustment and definition. Just a little bit. That depth here, that little oval here, oval here, oval here. Three ovals on the upper lip. And two ovals on the lower lip. So the sh where the shadow and edge of the shadow, it's um, a little redder, it's a little redder. I'm using cut red for that overlap in the shadow. Now, uh, remember I told you that lips needs to be soft with the skin tone. Don't, don't look like a cut out and paste. So you have to use brush and soft that blending together with the inner blending together with the skin tone. Go up uh, lower lip it needs to be a little tiny shadows here right there. Shadow I'm making much redder here. That's all. Not much. And just a little here. And some other running around adjustments we'll do that later. So I'm going to start to work on the hair right now. As I mentioned to you it's very bright sunny day and um, uh, first before that I need to cover that area with a cut red uh, cut, cut yellow light and white to make that sun go through your hair very lightly very very sunny not enough so I'm going to use that cut yellow light yeah like that very thick and because we need to pull some hair. Seems like too much yellow, so I'm adding more white. And go around her pink ear, overlapping that hair a little bit, even here, because I want to make it wide. Very really nice. Light goes through her hair and her body. That she's glowing. Just fantastic light here. And like diluting her hair into that, or bathing this hair into the sunny light behind her. Now we are going to work on the hair. So um, I'm going to start placing basics, which I already did last time. It's a um, burnt umber and a yellow ochre. So I'm going to make some darks here. Darks coming from here a little bit, ombre and a little here. And I want, I want just her hair be messy because, as I said, little kids they don't sit still, and they especially little ones they don't even walk. They're always running. Like a little here. Now I'm going drop some hair along right there. Okay, and I'm mixing again amber and yellow ochre and a little now touch of burnt sienna and see how it's going to work. I'm just adjusting, adjusting colors. Oh, yeah, working good. So I'm going to put that being low here, a little bit right there, and a little here, and make it different directions. A little here, low, low, and not too even. Okay, not too even. Now I'm looking for the shadows, more deeper shadows, which is right on the sides, more depths here. I'm using uh, burnt, uh, uh, burnt amber and uh, sienna together and now I'm going to put on the same this side, more depth here, a little something here. Okay, before I finish here I'm going to work on her jacket. So that's the steps. Now I'm going to continue here with the bank. A little bit like that. Soft 
hair needs to be very soft so we are going just to put and then we are going just to all right I'm going to soft first then I'm going to start to put in highlights with brush is dirty so we are going to wipe that brush pretty clean over over dry rag and just push it soft and here too then I'm going to continue 